Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. Datacrons are hidden objects in Star Wars The Old Republic that you can find to earn a permanent boost to your stats. In this video, we'll be going over all four Datacrons that are hidden on Dromacos along with a Matrix Shard. Only Imperial players will be able to access these Datacrons and this planet. Republic players will not be able to get them at all. If you're starting off near the spaceport, look for the Heroic Missions Terminal and pick up the Shadow Spawn Heroic 2 Plus to save some time later. The first Datacron on Dromacos, the Red Mastery Datacron, is hidden inside the spaceport, so you can quick travel to the Dromacos spaceport on the far right of the map, or you can take the spaceport speeder. Once you're inside, you're going to head to the very far south. There are some hangars there. They do not have an elevator icon. But the one that is open has an elevator to a hangar called Docking Bay D61 that you can go to. Little kind of secret area that the quests do not lead you to. Once you're in here, you can head deeper into the hangar. And what you'll see here is a datacron that's hidden up on some boxes in the back of the hangar. So we will not be able to jump up those boxes, instead we'll need to find an alternate route. And we're going to do that by dropping down onto some pipes from up above. So once we're here, we can see the Datacron. And we're actually going to look to our right as we're on this walkway heading towards the Datacron. And on the very right where there's some shipping crates, you'll see some pipes. They're kind of a uh, yellowy brown color compared to the black and gray of the rest of the area. And we're just going to very carefully angle our camera towards the pipes and walk off and fall down. Once we're on the pipe, we're going to carefully walk all the way to the Datacron. If you struggle to walk on these narrow pipes, you can press the slash key above your number pad on your keyboard and it'll make your character walk slower, making it easier to stay on the pipes. So once we get here, this is a little bit of a, a jump you'll have to make. You'll want to back up and jump forward. And that way you will mine the gap right there. And from there you'll be able to jump up the crates and get your red mastery datacron. The second datacron, the yellow presence datacron, also starts off kind of near the spaceport. The qu closest quick travel will be the Dromenkos spaceport. And the closest taxi will be on the right hand side called the spaceport speeder. From there, you're just going to run south along a dotted yellow path and you'll just keep following it until the path runs out and you reach a clearing over here. There'll be lots of enemies along the way, you can skip most of them. If you've done the Lightning Spire quest on Drone Goss, this is the same area. So from here, what we're looking for is a secret pathway and that's hidden in the very back of the clearing here. What it looks like is just a little gap in the rocks here, a little secret cave. And on the map, it's right here in the very far south of that clearing. So once we find that little secret tunnel we can go through, we'll simply follow it along until we can see the yellow presence datacron shining in the distance. Do a little cross across the logs here. You don't even have to jump, you can just walk. And ta-da! You found the yellow presence datacron. The third datacron is the orange mastery datacron and it's kind of hidden in the dark temple approach kind of near the expansion area of Droman Koss. The closest quick travel is not very close. It's called the Kass City Expansion Quick Travel Point right here kind of in the center of the map and the closest taxi or speeder will be called the Kass City Expansion. From there you're going to be heading far to the east. You're going to be following along the super, super long bridge and just keep following the path forward until you reach the expansion camp. There's going to be a guy in a tent. There's going to be some big shipping crates. There's going to be some of these platforms. And most importantly, you're going to be able to see the Datacron way down below there, up on top of a very tall rock. You won't be able to jump on top of that rock, so we'll have to come down on it from above. The point where you start your jumping puzzle, it's a very small one, is right here on the map so we've got the taxi over here we ran across the long bridge we followed the path and we're right about here near that tent 
the easiest way I've found to get up here is just jump up on this little crate. And then jump up onto the rocks, and from there it's fairly easy. You can kind of just move your way along up onto this secret path over here. And we'll follow it until we get to a point where we can see the Datacron. So here's where it looks like on the map. So we've gone from the tent area up over this big secret pathway. And now we have to get down to the Datacron. That's the tricky part. So for the first bit, I'm going to get off my speeder and just try to jump down to this first rock. And that second rock does have a gap. So you won't be able to just fall onto it. You'll want to get on your speeder and do a really good big jump onto it. Same thing with this one, this final rock. Big jump. And there we go. We found our orange mastery datacron. The final datacron hidden on Dromancos is the green endurance datacron, and that one's hidden in Lord Grathen's estate. So the closest foot travel is going to be the wall speeder in the south, and the closest speeder is going to be the wall speeder in the same location. However, if you happen to have the shadow spawn heroic quick travel shuttle if you picked up the heroic at the beginning from shadow spawn that one will actually put you a little bit closer we're going to run the long way we're going to be running all the way down south through the wall big giant wall area and we're going to be going deep into lord grathen's estate to the east what you're looking for is this area you'll see the actual entrance to lord grathen's castle or keep and you're going to see some big turrets and what we're specifically looking for is a little break in the wall here. We've got a turret, a wall, and there's a little area in between that we can run through. You might have to fight some enemies along the way, nothing too serious. And once we get into this peaceful little area, here's where it is on the map, on the very far east side of Lord Grathen's estate. There's a little lake, and there's a little secret pathway right here that we can follow to get up to this datacron. All we have to do is just keep following it up and up and up the narrow path. Really get a good sense of exploration with these datacrons here. And you'll be able to get to the green endurance datacron. You can actually see this datacron while you're questing or while you're exploring if you're down in this area, but you won't be able to jump up this way. You'll have to go through Lord Grathen's estate. The final Datacron, or rather the final Matrix Shard, the yellow Matrix Shard on Dromacos, is hidden up on top of a little waterfall. You may see it when you're exploring the heroic area in the south of Dromacos in the lakes area, but you won't be able to get it through the waterfall. You'll have to find a different way up to it. So the quickest quick travel is the wall, and the closest taxi is the speeder, just like before, and you have to run all the way down here to the southwest. But if you happen to have the Shadow Spawn Heroic, you can get here a lot faster once again. What we're looking for is a nice little secret tunnel again, and it's actually right over here on our left. And that will show up right here on the map. So we're going to sneak past these enemies, and we're going to go find that secret tunnel and follow it all the way to the Datacron on the top of the waterfall. And here we are, here's the yellow matrix shard hidden on Droman Koss. While we're here, there's also the Yozusk Plate Smasher, which is an enemy that you might want to fight if you like collecting achievements, as it's a hidden one and sometimes hard to find. I hope you enjoyed this video showing off how to find all the Datacrons hidden on Droman Koss in Star Wars The Old Republic. If you want to show your support for extremely in-depth guides about the game that you love, Visit sotheresa.com slash support, and if you want to have similar videos like this, show up on your YouTube homepage, subscribe to this channel. As always, may the dark side of the force be with you, and good luck on your datacron hunt.